Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice. In this module, I want to show you how you can get started with a base database. So I'm in the LibreOffice opening or start window and I've got a new database option sitting there. Now if I just double click that, it will take me into the database window. Now, the way this works is you have these objects down this left hand side, tables, where you store your data, for example, names and addresses, telephone numbers, etc., products. Queries is where you interrogate that data, how many items we sold this month, etc. Forms, where you input data into a table or a query. And then reports is the output of the information. So you can base a report on a query or a table. So first of all, let's create a simple table. Now I'm going to use um, design view and do it manually first off. Uh, you can use a wizard. Let's have a quick look at this. So what it's after is the field names. So I'm going to start off with full name. And then when you come across to this field type, you have a whole list of different types. By default, it's text, but quite often you need to use one of these other ones. There is a limited number of characters that you can have on text so you might have to if it's a bigger field which it won't be for forename you can choose a different one where it says description you don't need a description for forename but if it was a field that didn't really make sense you could put some narrative there to explain what that field was so let's just do a few fields surname leave that as text and we'll have date joined and we'll do a date field so i'm going to tab and just type the letter d and it comes in with date now you notice down the bottom there you've got entry required default value and then the format example so if i didn't want that example let's have a look at format field you can change that to be whatever you want mine set to uk english and that's what i want there so that's how it's going to sit okay and um, then you have the option of having a primary key but at this level i'm just showing you the basic uh, how to do a table on the basic level i don't really need a primary key because i'm not going to join it with another field but just to show you how that would work you just click on this little key symbol and it's going to ask me to save the table so i'll call this tbl customer that's what i want to call it okay and then it's saying it's already used okay customer two okay a unique primary key is required yes i do want that and then it creates it for me just an id field with a little key symbol you've got you can sort these out but i'm just going to leave it like that so there's my fields i'll save it again close this table and then you have the um, customer to there if I double click onto that it opens up the window which allows you to fill in the information so if I just bring that window into the screen so ID number one and then I'll just type my name like so and let's say I joined on the 21st of August 2000 press tab to come down ID two Dave Jones and you just type in the records like this 0201-1999, tab 3, tab Ann Jones, tab, no not Ann Jones, Ann Brown, that's not getting any married people. Now let's see, let's see what happens if I do this, if I just put 0 1, 1 20, 20, tab, okay it's corrected it for me because that's the format that I wanted. Now once you've finished typing information in, You've got some sort tools there and some filter options that you can use but i'm just going to close that table and go to a query and create a query this time i'm going to use the wizard to create a query so remember this is where you ask the questions start the query wizard there's a table so i want the table customers two and there's the fields so i'll send them all across and then you've got these options. It's basically going through these options. 
I'm not bothered about sorting it. Now, this is the search criteria. Match the following criteria. So, field date join is greater than. I can't remember what dates I put in there. Let's go for the first of the first 19. 99. I think that might be everybody actually. I better go 2000. 2000. Next. Not interested in that. Next. Okay. That's it. Finish. And it shows me the results of those two people. Now I'm going to close that without saving it. Um, I've just got it there. I'll delete it. Delete. Yep. And do that again. This time I'll do it in design view. Uh, same sort of thing. Customer to add. Close. Now there's your fields. Now you can either drag and drop these, so drag, drop them in, or you can select them from the drop down list there. Forename, surname, and date joined. So this is a more familiar, I just need to click into these boxes to get it to come for table two. You've got sort, visible, tick on, tick off. Take the tick off, it doesn't show when you when you look at it. Functions, I'll show that in a different video. So criteria, to do the same one there, if I just go into this column and just do greater than 01, 01, 2000. So that's the same sort of criteria you notice it's got these little hashes around it which means it recognizes this as a date field now what you want to do now is just run this run this query to see if it comes up with the correct information and it does and now I will save that and I'll call that QRY 20 2000 okay and then I'll close the query so that sits in the query bit now to create a form You've got options again for the wizard, which I'll use again to create a form. Comes up with the options to create a form. So I'll bring that onto this screen. So you select the table or query. I'm going for the table and the fields you've got there. You can send them across. And then you go through the wizard. Next, I don't want a sub form. Again, I'll show you that in a later video. This is how I want it to look. So I'll just click. These are just different styles, if you like, how the form's going to look. I like that one. And then next, this form is to display all data. Again, you've got different options there. Styles, bright blue, no, light. Mm. Oh, I quite like that one. Just, I'll go for that one, dark. Next, and then you give it a name. So I'll call that FRM. Customer 2, so it's looking at the table, and then finish. And then to use it, so I've got one of three records, and then you've got little navigation arrows at the bottom, and then a plus, new record. So I can go 4, press tab, um, Carol, press tab, white, press tab, joined on the 01, 02, 1998. And then when you want to finish with that form, you can either do a new one or you can just close this form down, which I will. And then that form is there. If you want to open it, it's ready to go again. Now you've got four records. If I look at the actual tables, customer two, that input into that table. So if I bring that back onto this screen, you've got that last record that I inputted through the form sitting there. That's what that form does. Now the last thing is a report. Click on the report. I'll use the wizard. And again, it gives you the options for the tables or the query. I'll go for the query this time because the query is what we've used to interrogate the data. So if I take these all across, next. This is the stuff that's coming on next. I don't need any grouping for this, but quite often you do need grouping. Next, sort options, not bothered. Layout options, depending how you want this to sit, you've got different options. So default is tabular, single column, two columns, 
so on and so on. I'll leave it on tabular. And then next is create the report. And then you put RPT in front of all of that. There shouldn't really be a space there, to be honest. That's the name of convention, no spaces. RPT. And then finish. And it generates the report, which as you can see, it's coming to writer. So it's a report in writer. So these are the ones that are after 2000. So if I close that down, I'll just add a new record into the form. I'll open a form. So new record. And I'll do that. This is record five. Press tab. So this can be Paul tab read tab first of the first 2001 just close that off go back to the reports run that report and that one marries up with that criteria for the query so that's picking that up if I close that down just to show you that what happened there was the query which is greater than 2000 picked up that new person because he joined in 2001 and because the report is based on that query the report picked up that additional person and dropped it in like so so that's all I want to talk about in this little video a very simple getting started into using this database so you have tables you create a table or multiple tables which I'll do in a later video you interrogate that information through queries use forms to input data into a query or a table and then your output is a report. You create a report to output the data that you've interrogated or just output the data. So hopefully that video was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.